Okay. It is time. It is time. It's this weekend is the time. July the 10th at 9 p.m. on Bravo. It's going down. You all see this advertisement. You see it. You know what it's all about. Mary to medicine. But baby, I'm here for the fashions. Let's go. Hey, you guys, thanks so much for clicking on the video. Listen, I am Spillerboy TV, and one of my favorite reality shows has always been Married to Medicine. I've been doing this for a long time. You know I'm a reviewer, show reviewer to my heart. I love it. I love this show and always have, always have. But today I was running through, and I know, you know that everybody's been patiently awaiting the show to come back on. And it is this weekend, and listen, I'm ready to go. But I saw this photo, and it literally stopped me in my tracks. It stopped me in my tracks. I was like, oh, my gosh, the, the ladies are back. But look at them. Look at them. I'm going to just start right here by saying, do I have anything really bad to say? Uh-uh. Baby, everybody on set did their job do you understand me let me this this how deep it goes with this this photo this photo is so sickening to the point where i gotta start with the background and the backdrop okay because they didn't went right up on a whole white backdrop okay with a whole cast of uh beautiful melanated women and it's we got every shade and every little version right there for us and they look gorgeous everything is perfect completely white background they put the black pedestal there in the middle for a few folks to sit on and break up some of that white and then we did these roman numerals okay the two m's in white and then we got the uh the two uh, what i call them eyes <laughs> there one in lilac and one in pink uh fuchsia if you will and when you look down at the actual married to medicine which is written you see it's actually done in uh fuchsia and lilac and it just is soft and all the women are dressed in black and black and then we have these two really beautiful exaggerated bouquets on the sides of this black pedestal it is perfection is what it is it's very it's that uh minimal beauty is what it is it's not a whole bunch going on but it's just enough it's just enough so listen like i said i am here today to talk about the fashion because i was really taken aback by the fashion i'm like wow i'm gonna talk about this it's even got nothing to do with the show but i will throw a few things and you know a few facts and being as though i've been here i can do that i can actually tell you a little something because you know there's always somebody out there who really doesn't know the show or or um not real sure about exactly who's involved so i'll throw out a little bit of what i know about these ladies here at marriage medicine i'm gonna go ahead i'm gonna start right here with Dr. Jackie Walters. Um, she's an OBGYN um, and now she's a reality star as well. She's a very popular doctor. I'm very good at what she does. But this whole thing with Jackie right here, Jackie, and I'm going to say this about all the women, all the women, the makeup, that's why I said everybody on staff, everybody on the set did their job. The makeup is great across the board great across the board listen no drag queens in sight no drag queens in sight because that is one of the biggest things that kind of irritates me is that a lot of times we'll have our things done for our reality show ladies and it's this this thing where i'm like wait a minute is this a drag show or is this something dealing with our reality show women because the makeup is just too too stark it's too much 
then no drag pageant earrings. I said, wow, they got it right. It was cool. And sometimes that's cool, but sometimes it's just a bit overbearing. And I'm a drag queen myself, so I don't really mind the drag thing, but it's like, it's not always necessary. It's not always necessary. And then somebody will end up looking so overdone and it just kind of irritates me. So listen, thank you everybody across the board with the makeup, fabulous. Everybody looks soft and and great, and there's no there's no drag in sight, no drag in sight. So I, I was appreciative of it. Anyway, being a lover of drag, I could take it out of the equation when I want to. I don't want any drag in this. I didn't want any drag in this whole scene. I want the ladies to be them and and do their thing. Let them do their thing. Let them do the girl thing, black girl magic thing. That's it. Okay. So no offense to any other drag queens. Like I said, I am a drag queen myself. So I said it and I said, I ain't taking it back. I said it. Moving on. Dr. Jackie Walters, OBGYN. Okay. Married to medicine. Listen, and this is season nine. This is season nine that we actually are embarking upon here. Okay. So Dr. Jackie right here, we got Dr. Jackie. It's very simple, very understated with a pop of drama down below her knee, which is very Dr. Jackie. Dr. Jackie is real, real groovy, but it's usually a pop of drama. She's never really overdone. It's always somewhere you can look and Jackie has some little pop of something that'll be really, really understated. And then Jackie will turn around, her whole back will be out or something like that. That's, that's very Jackie. Now, I love how they did this uh, like I said, it's just black strapless. It's very crisp. And then down at the bottom, we have this really beautiful flounce that's done in ruffles. And they're actually, that hemline is actually done in horsehair braids. So it pops like that. It looks like, it actually looks like ribbon. That's horsehair braid down there. That really makes it do the whole little curl thing. And it just, it's that pop of drama that it actually needed. She got this side swept hair, which I'm loving. No curls at all, just bone straight. I'm loving this on Jackie. And then she got an old nasty piece of ankle strap sandal. Everybody knows how much I love an old nasty piece of strappy sandal. And it works. And the jewelry, minimal. Minimal, not overdone. Just perfect. Perfect Dr. Jackie. I love it. I love it. Glad to see her back. Um, I'm going to move right now over to... Dr. Heavenly Kimes. Oh, Dr. Heavenly. Listen, I got a lot to say about old Dr. Heavenly. Dr. Heavenly, she is, um, Dr. Heavenly wasn't there from the very beginning. Okay. Dr. Heavenly came in a couple seasons in and she's a dentist. She's a mother and she is a um, very interesting character. We see Dr. Heavenly a lot now on YouTube. And different things after the pandemic, she started really being on YouTube and building her own personal YouTube channel. So we would see her. Dr. Heavenly was always known for the mess, known for the mess. Okay. And uh, I've noticed she has a daughter. She has a daughter. Her name is Alora. Beautiful little girl. It's not a little girl, beautiful young lady at this point. And I've noticed in watching her through social media, she spends a lot of time with her daughter. And whatever that is, whatever that relationship, because she has, other um, children, they are boys. She has two, I think it's two sons, two or three sons. I think it's two sons, but she has boys and girls. The relationship with boys and their mother is different than the relationship with girls and their mother. She has a really good relationship from what we can see with Alora. And whatever that is, as Alora has gotten older, I've seen Dr. Heavenly, it seems like she has softened up and she seems to really have a good time. We see her smiling a lot now, joking and laughing. You know, she always had like a, a crude sense of humor and everybody doesn't know how to take Dr. Heavenly, which gets her in trouble a lot on the show. But I just see life in her and it's coming out in her looks. It's coming out in her looks. She looks really great. This whole thing she got going on here, I'm loving it. She And three of the women did this in this photo. Three of the women have on T-Length dresses t length i make clothes too guys so listen t length is one of the hardest 
lengths of dress to ever design or create because it really is it's too long to be short it's too short to be long so it's not a gown and then it's not a mini and like i said it's just a weird length and it's really hard to pull off for whatever reason they had it they were dead on three t length numbers in this photo and each one is done correctly and they're not the same they're not the same and they were all done spectacular here's the first one dr heavenly really really basic black dress no skin she has no skin showing here um i love this you know this volume hair with uh dr heavenly it looks really good and then she has these blonde streaks which like i said she is really she's taking fashion chances and and doing things that really lighten her up and lighten the mood when it comes to dr heavenly she looks really really good here and then there's this whole drama she got going on at that shoulder now when i went and i looked at it, i was like okay i like this and right away i looked at the shoulder and i said this is giving me thunderdome but then when i really looked at it i said i wonder if they did this on purpose because not just the shoulder all of it is giving me thunderdome all of it is giving me a tina turner vibe and i did i looked at her and i sat back and i said we don't need another hero that's what it's very much giving me that mad max beyond thunderdome feel but it's done in a real pretty way the hair everything the volume of the hair very very tina turner listen dr heavenly whatever this is i'm enjoying it and then she got old nasty piece of simple sandal baby little strap across the toe little strap around the ankle and girl you're off honey i love it i love it i love it i love it moving on moving on let me roll on back over here i have dr simone dr simone whitmore she's an OBGYN as well okay and she's a mother as well and a wife just like jackie um dr simone is touch and go and when it comes to the fashions she's the one that gets the hardest time well basically it's her and dr heavenly that the girls they they jab at them a little bit for their fashions okay and their fashion sense so um in this little situation i think Simone actually got, she trusted someone to style. Simone ain't did this on her own. I, and that's no shade. Or maybe it is a little shade. I don't know. Maybe it is a little shade. But Simone ain't did this on her own. This is good. This is good. I think she trusted. But I still see the Simone in it. I see the Simone in it where some things aren't exactly what I would have chosen, but they actually come across as Simone. And the shoe is one of them. It's still a strapped sandal but it's not the one that i would have chosen but it looks like a shoe that simone would have chosen so i'll go with it but right here we got simone dr simone she's in this here sleeveless coat dress with and the buttons are covered so it's real it's nice the, the buttons are covered and they're they have a satiny finish and so does the lapel and the lapel has an old nasty piece of splash of chanel on the on the lapel i said okay very simone okay real cool and then this is where my issue is this ponytail and these tendrils that is very much simone i want to throw that hairstyle away out of her repertoire i do i, I i'm i'm over simone and the ponytail that's always her go-to when she got to get dressed up it's this ponytail and these tendrils i don't know why but i can actually see and i don't need the color of her hair to change i'm fine with the color combination for her hair but I, I want to see Simone in, I want her in a voluminous, curly, like a bob. Like something very Whitney Houston that is like right below her ear, but has like fullness to it. I just want to see her in a bob of that nature, you know, with a part, a side part and some hair coming toward the front on the one side. That's what I want to see on Simone. I just think it would be so stunning on her. I'm over this ponytail and these tendrils. That is always her go-to. Um, I'm over it. But it looks good. She looks good. But I just think it just would have, it would have elevated the look 
it really would have would have elevated the look. But here, the jewelry, perfect. That cuff on her wrist, fabulous, fabulous. She looked good though. She looked good, but that's just my own little thing that I threw in there. Standing next to her, baby, is Dr. Contessa Metcalf, mother, doctor, listen, and vamp. And y'all just sit sit in that for a minute. Vamp, because that's what you're looking at right there. That is a vamp, darling. A black Elvira, if you will, but done so, so well. Nothing cost to me about it, but very much giving me black Elvira. I love it. Now, this part down the middle and this long straight hair, that is actually Dr. Contessa's go-to, but it works. And this whole soft wave she got going on, I'm here for. This black dress is just, it's perfect. This deep decollete with, and it's in T-length, done perfect. And it has this real exaggerated uh, sash right down the center front. There's nothing to say. Jewelry, minimal, fabulous. And then her sandal is, um, it's cool. It wouldn't have been my choice either. But it's cool. It has a little bit of a splash of gold to it. You got to really look hard to see it. That wouldn't have been my choice of sandal, but it's okay. But this look, baby, Black Elvira, I am in love with this. And yes, she very much, that's a vamp. No, there's no one to look at her and say, oh, yeah, that's what you see when you go to the doctor's office. Child, folks wouldn't be scared to go to the doctor's office, child. They keep on showing back up. Okay. <laughs> All right, moving on. Next, we actually have these two. These two. Let me start over here with Anila. We got Anila Saja. She is a doctor's wife. She is the newest of cast members here. She came in last season. Um, she's a mother, and she's also a social media style maven, okay? And the funny part is, this is my least favorite of the look. But um, there's some things about it that I really do like. Well, it's actually one thing that I really like about it. One, I'm just going to say this. It's, this dress, is, it's just a black mini, and it's a sleeveless with some center front cutouts. It's very much a uh, throwback Versace feel is what it's giving me. And then even the shoe. The shoe is nice. The shoe is nice. But again, it gives me that whole throwback Versace feel. And the dress itself, I think everything would have been better if it just would have went up one size. And that's, again, that's another thing. That's 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 Anila, though. That's something that I noticed in her last season. Most times, I always feel like I want to put her in one size up. Just one size up from where we actually are. Um, and, yeah, but this is the one thing that I really do like. One thing that I really, really do like is this forehead uh, center part jewel that she has, which is like it's a uh, she's representing her culture and she does that. She always does that. It's always present with her whenever she is on the show. Whenever she shows up, she is always representing for her culture. So I, I, I really like that. And I was glad to see that she actually did that. And her jewelry is minimal. You know, it's minimal around it. So everything looks good. I like her makeup, everything. I just want the dress to be one size bigger. And other than that, it's okay. We'll take it. It's cool. It's cool. Um, let's move on to this chick sitting next to her child. Y'all know who she is, honey. Quad Webb, former wife of a doctor. Okay. So she, she's she been here from the beginning. She was the wife of a doctor. And through the show, we've actually seen her part ways with her doctor husband, but she's still a part of the show. And with her being on this photo i'm thinking that we're going to have her full time because it's kind of like this thing we've gone through where she was sort of like a friend to the show but always around so it looks like she's back here full full on like she should be because not only is she a former wife of a doctor but she actually is the quintessential breakout star of married to medicine and anybody could try to refute that with me we can have a whole knockdown drag out she is the breakout star of the show. She's a self-made entrepreneur. She is an author. She does a whole lot of other things that are very quad. But um, 
her big thing when, when it comes to Married to Madison, homegirl is the breakout star of the show, is what it is. And I don't see the show without her, but that's that. What we got going on here is what she gives. This is this is quad. This is normal quad. A black living Barbie doll. That's what she is. I like this hair. It's like a, a bottle of honey with some light blonde highlights. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. And then the dress, strapless, heavy beading in the top. There's a sheer midsection there um, with some beading in that. And also at the bottom, she has this over-exaggerated side slit, which is really bare in both legs. Um, she knows exactly what she's doing. She got legs and she knows how to use them. Okay. She knows what she's doing. And then she got old nasty piece of strappy sandal on. I love it. Minimal jewelry. Perfect. 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 So that's that. Now let me move on. I'm going to go on over here to the side to my last lady here, who is somebody that I give a whole lot of, I give her a lot of props. You know, we, I, and she's one of the people that I, me and Toya, Miss Toya, sometimes I don't agree with Toya. And you could even say she ain't my favorite character, but I like Toya, you know, I like her. But there's there's times when I be screaming, ah, Toya. <laughs> it's Toya Bush Harris. She's a doctor's wife. She's a mother. And what I'm going to say about this whole situation right here is just when I looked at it, I said, come on, Toya. And all I wrote down in my notes was bold, bold, okay? And I'm going to give her her flowers today because I told you I do pick at her when I do my reviews on the show. Because a lot of time I call her and her husband the fry, I call her the fry guy and all of that. Um, listen, when I looked at her in this picture, I had to double take to see who it was because she actually looks like one of my other uh so, uh, social media mavens and and reality stars that I love so much as singer. She looks like, um, my God, I'm looking at this. It, it she looks like Selena Johnson. Everything here looks like Selena Johnson except for the shoe. Selena Johnson, I believe, would put on a different shoe. But the dress, the hair, it's especially the hair and the makeup choice is so very Selena Johnson. Do you understand me? I said, girl. But okay, this is the thing. Let me talk about Toya because this is what we talk about. Toya Bush Harris. Toya's been around from the very beginning. Okay, um, right here. Toya has spaghetti straps, and I mean stone cold spaghetti straps. Like back in the day, they thin, thin, thin spaghetti straps. Okay, spaghetti straps. A very serious size slit, and they play with asymmetrical cuts and stoning here. And then there's this whole new mid-center inset. This is really, really bold. It is. And this that shoe is just fantastic. The shoe literally looks like a gift wrap box, heavy on the stones, okay? I love it. I love it. I'm going to say this. And why I say bold, a lot of people can't do what Toya has done. In the last two seasons, we've seen Toya. If she didn't make it her storyline, yet... If you paid attention, you've seen it going on. Now, we all live through the pandemic together. All of us are reality show stars, as well as the regular folks such as myself. We all live through the pandemic. A lot of people went through different struggles with weight gain. And I watched, and then Toya had some things that went on at the show that was some female things that also, you, you just have, you have to watch the show. But we watched her. She never made it her storyline but we could tell that she has struggled with some weight gain okay there was some weight gain she always listened like i said she came from the beginning built like a brick shit house do you understand me always was still is but this is just a thicker version of toya we watched her she didn't fuss and she didn't complain about the weight that we saw we clearly saw that she had gained some weight no no fussing, no complaining. She didn't make it a storyline, but we did see her playing tennis and working out. She was always in workout clothes, and it was just an understated thing that you knew she was going through what a whole lot of the planet was going through as far as weight gain and the pandemic living and stress and whatever else. Her husband is a doctor. Listen, we've seen her go through it. We've seen what happened, and we see the results here. Toya Bush-Harris 
absolutely fabulous. Fabulous. Is she the size that she started? No, she's not. And that is what is so impressive to me because a lot of people, when they gain, they can gain 10 pounds and they don't know how to dress that new body. They don't know how to embrace that new body. Listen, Toya got a handle on it and mama looks good. You hear me? She is tearing this look up. And this is another of the T-length looks done perfect. Perfect, seamless. She looks absolutely fantastic to me. I love it. The hair, would I change it? Absolutely. Because that's her go-to too. She does this curly look and it's usually a ponytail or sometimes it's to the side. Um, and we see Toya play in other hairstyles, but when she gets time for her to dress up, that's generally her go-to. And I love some of the other looks on her. She don't really have to have all that hair. She's a really pretty woman, really pretty woman. I actually like her in a shorter hairstyle because it really does frame her face. And you actually get to see, you know, that Toya really does make up very, very well. So I would change the hair, but everything else, baby, this dress and this shoe and everything, listen, just perfect, perfect. I am completely excited, completely excited to see them come back. I told you I was here for the fashions. I was talking about the fashions. I have nothing bad to say, which is really strange because a lot of times, you know, it you don't see a whole cast get it right. But the cast of Married to Medicine, baby, they got it right. They got it right. Listen, tune in to Bravo 9 p.m. on Sundays, baby. Married to Medicine is back and I am just completely overjoyed. I will see you all and check me out for my reviews because they will definitely be there every Sunday when they drop an episode. I'll be dropping an episode as well. Y'all have a good one. And, and, and feel like